Military allies test missile defenses. The U.S. and Japan have conducted a successful missile interception test with an interceptor launched from a guided missile destroyer. The test took place on Friday night off Kauai in the Hawaiian archipelago. A medium-range ballistic missile target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility on the island. The USS John Paul Jones detected the target with its onboard radar, then successfully intercepted the target with its Aegis missile defense system. The U.S. Navy has 62 guided missile destroyers equipped with the Aegis system, while Japan owns six. Here's some more stories about missile defenses. U.S. conducts successful ballistic missile defense system test. The U.S. successfully conducted the latest test of its ballistic missile defense system on Sunday, the Pentagon said. The U.S. first launched a simulated enemy missile from a test site on the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands, and then a long-range ground-based interceptor from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. After the launch, the missile was detected by radar. An interceptor was then launched to hit the missile and prevent it from hitting its target. The interceptor vehicle hit the missile over the Pacific Ocean. The Pentagon said the test was the 65th successful hit-to-kill intercept out of 81 attempts since 2001. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency said Sunday's test represented a very important step in increasing the reliability of the ballistic missile defense system. Russia angered as U.S. activates Romanian missile defense site. The U.S. officially activated a radar system in Romania, part of a missile defense system in Europe on Thursday. The move was immediately denounced by Russia. The missile system at the Deveselu Air Base in Romania can intercept rockets fired from countries such as Iran. The system, known as the Aegis Ashore, can detect incoming missiles and identify the types of warhead approaching before launching interceptor missiles from ships or ground sites to destroy it in space. In addition to the Romanian base, another missile system will be constructed in Poland. Overall, U.S. missile defense in Europe also includes NATO's command and control center at the Ramstein Air Base in Germany and the U.S. warships with interceptor missiles based in Spain. The shield will stretch from Greenland to the Azores when complete. U.S. officials insist that the European missile defense is not targeted at Russia, nor is it technically capable of taking down a barrage of Russian missiles. U.S. to send additional anti-missile ships to Japan. U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel has announced plans to deploy two additional anti-ballistic missile ships to Japan within the next three years. North Korea has test-fired a series of mid-range missiles in recent months, missiles believed to have a maximum range of 1,300 kilometers. In response to North Korean launches, the U.S. says it will deploy two additional missile defense warships to Japan by 2017, bringing the total to seven. The ships are equipped with Aegis ballistic missile defense capabilities, which can detect and intercept ballistic missiles. The American Defense Secretary says the deployment of additional ships is meant to reinforce America's commitment to Japan's security, a nation that already hosts some 50,000 U.S. troops. Also in response to perceived North Korean aggression, the U.S. has announced plans to beef up ground-based missile defense systems in Alaska. North Korea's mid-range missiles are believed to have a maximum range of 1,300 kilometers, while its long-range missiles could hit targets as far as 6,000 kilometers away. Army launches test missile in New Mexico, con tail visible for hundreds of miles. One. Zero, fire.
Most of that uh, little burst of light just saw that second stage. And that, that part of the rocket will land at the table of floors. We have an area there evacuated. And we have personnel there waiting to uh, pick it up and recover.